I'm going to give you one of my favorite illustrated sermons of all time as I teach kids about the glory of God. And we're starting right now. The glory of God is one of those intangible, profound concepts in the Bible that can be so difficult to explain to kids. And even adults can struggle with it at times. But what does the Bible actually say about the glory of God? You know verses like this when it says, when God created the heavens and the earth, they were filled with his glory. And when Moses met God on the mountain, his face shone from being in the glory of God. And in the tabernacle, the Shekinah glory filled the Holy of Holies. And Moses cried out and said, show me your glory. But how do we explain it to children? I'm gonna share a video that was filmed in Miami, Florida at King Jesus Ministries for Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. I believe this short explanation will open up our understanding of the glory of God in a very unique way and it's easily understood by children. Now I've taught this lesson all over the world. It's one of my favorites and you're gonna to wanna to watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna tell you how you can get the sermon for yourself. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. And in addition, click the bell next to it because that way every time I upload a new video, you'll get an email letting you know about it. So now, let's get started. All right, this young man okay, este muchacho is going to be Adam. Él es Adam. Okay, you see this started a long time ago. I'm going to teach you how you were made. Le voy a enseñar a usted cómo usted All fue right. hecho, okay? So Adam, I need you to lay down here. Adam, ven y acuéstate arriba de. Okay, just jump up on this table and lay down. Salta aquí, acuéstate aquí. Because now I'm God. Yo soy Dios. Okay, and I am going to create. Yo voy a crear. Adam. Adam. And we know what he did. Ya sabemos lo que él hizo. You know that uh, that we that Adam that he made man. Sabemos que él hizo al hombre. Molded him with his hands. Que lo moldeó con sus manos. Which, by the way, he didn't do that with the animals. Y eso no lo hizo con los animales. I just thought I'd mention that. Le quería mencionar. And then he bent down, it says, to the ground. Dice que él se agachó a la tierra. And he breathed into Adam's y nostrils. Que él sopló en las narices de Adán. What did he breathe in? Que él le sopló. The breath of life. El aliento de vida. That's exactly right. Eso es exactamente Now, correcto. Now, think about this for a minute. Entonces, piensa tu momentito. Because the Bible says that God breathed into Adam. Dice la Biblia que Dios sopló en Adán. I, I'm not really going to blow in your nose, okay? No, no te voy a soplar en nariz. Just to let no you know. No te preocupes. Breathed into Adam. Pero le sopló a Adán. And now, if you go back to the Hebrew, si usted regresa al Hebreo, I don't know if you know this or not. No sé you si probably sabe do. Esto o no, si lo sepa. But the word breath Pero la palabra aliento means spirit. Significa espíritu. How many of you know that the Bible tells us that God is a spirit? ¿Cuántos saben dice la Biblia que Dios es espíritu? God is a spirit. Dios es espíritu. And so when He breathed into Adam, cuando él sopló en Adán, He put something inside of Adam. What did He put inside of Adam? Puso algo dentro de Adán. ¿Qué he puso Adán? He put his breath. He put his spirit. Puso su espíritu, su aliento dentro de Adán. So He breathed into Adam the sopló breath of life. Sopló en Adán aliento de vida. And Adam y Adam became a living soul. Vino a ser un ser viviente. All right, now, okay. jump down off the table ver, and, and you're going to stick with me for a while because Quédate here's conmigo. what we find out. Mira lo que vamos a ver. The Bible said Dice la Biblia, that in the day that you sin, en el día que you usted, will surely die. Que en verdad vas a morir. Basically, that was disobedience. Básicamente fue su desobediencia. And so I say now, Ahora te digo, the way I read my Bible, la manera que yo leo mi Biblia, After Adam and Eve sinned, and you know what they did, right? They ate the fruit, okay? Because you know your Bible well. Y Eva pecaron okay. y sabes lo que After hicieron, comieron ate, la fruta. My Bible tells me, me dice mi Biblia, that they went and hid. Que fueron y se escondieron. They kept talking. Seguían hablando. That they went and made themselves some clothes. Y fueron y se hicieron unas ropas. Out of leaves. De unas hojas. Because they suddenly understood that they were naked. Porque de repente entendieron que andaban desnudos. And I'm just saying, y in bueno, North Dakota, yo le digo, en North Dakota, dead people don't do that. La gente muerta no hace eso. So, if we put, when people die in North Dakota, they turn gray. 
and la blue gente en we put them in a box se and we put them in the ground se ponen rojo, se ponen azul, o tieso, lo metemos but en they una kept caja walking and talking tierra, pero estos muertos so did God lie did God make did God lie ¿Será que Dios le mintió que iba a morir? did God make a mistake o Dios se equivocó? Was that kind of like what our parents do? If you do that, I'm going to punish you. Como cuando nuestros papás nos dicen, hazlo y te voy a castigar a ver. do anything about it. Pero entonces en verdad no hacen nada cuando lo hacemos. Es así que usted hace como papá o mamá. I hope not. Yo espero que no lo haga usted así. So what died? Entonces qué fue en él lo que murió? His spirit died. Lo que murió fue su espíritu. So from that day forward, Entonces, de ese día en adelante, every human being, todo ser humano, every baby, todo bebé, is born with a dead little spirit nace con un on the inside. Chiquito muerto por dentro. It is dead to God. He has a spirit, tiene el espíritu, pero está but muerto, it's dead to God. Muerto para con Dios. So there is only one way Entonces, hay una sola for that spirit to come back to life again. Que ese espíritu vuelva a recobrar What is vida. that way? ¿Cuál es esa manera? Jesus. Yes, asking sí. Jesus Pedirle to come Jesús into your heart. Que entre a su corazón. You didn't know this is what happened to you. Usted no sabe que esto fue lo que le pasó a usted. Some of you had more of an experience than others did. Algunos han tenido más experiencia some que otros. Some of otro. you felt a change. Algunos sintieron el cambio. Someone, some of you, uh, uh, there was something absolutely happened that you could recognize. Hay algo que le pasó algo tan others just had to take it by faith. Que saben que pasó algo, otros lo han recibido por But fe. But what happened is when you prayed that prayer tonight at Pe the altar. Lo que pasó cuando usted hizo la When you prayed that altar, prayer, cuando usted hizo esa oración, you didn't know it, but the Spirit of God came and moved on the inside. Usted no lo sabe, pero el Espíritu de Dios vino dentro de usted y se movió así dentro de usted. And the Bible says that your spirit became alive to God. Y dice la Biblia que su espíritu vino Now, a estar vivo para con Adam, Dios. There's something that you need to know. Ahora hay algo que tienes que saber, Adán. That he's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. Nunca te va a dejar, nunca te va a desamparar. But you have control. Pero tú tienes el control. Over how big your spirit grows. De qué tan grande va a crecer tu espíritu. He's in there. Él está allá adentro ya. But you control. Ahora, pero tú controlas. How big God is in you. Qué tan grande Dios va a ser dentro de ti. So if you want your spirit to grow. Si tú quieres que tu espíritu te crezca. You need to read your Bible every day. Tienes que leer tu Biblia todos los días. If you need, to, if you want your spirit to be strong si in the Lord, que tu you sea gotta fuerte, pray every day. Todos los días. If you want your spirit to be strong and you want God to be big in you, si quiere que tu espíritu sea fuerte you y Dios sea grande en ti, him every day. tienes que adorarle todos los días. If you want your spirit to be strong, you need to come to church where you can hear the word of God. Tienes que quieres que sea fuerte tu espíritu, tienes que venir a la iglesia y escuchar la palabra. Because Adam, what's going to happen? Porque Adam, lo que te va a pasar. Is if you don't read your Bible every day. Si no oras tu vida todos los días. Your spirit is going to get weak. Tu espíritu se va a debilitar. If you don't pray every day. Si no oras todos los días. Your spirit is going to get weak. Tu espíritu se va a debilitar. If you don't worship the Lord. Si no adoras al Señor. Your spirit is going to get weak. Tu espíritu se va a debilitar. If you don't spend time in church with Christian friends and fellowship with them, si no pasas tiempo con amigos cristianos y tienes compañerismo con ellos, your spirit is going to get weak. Tu espíritu se va a debilitar. You control this. Tú eres quien controla esto. I want to tell you something. Y te quiero decir algo. Your mom and dad can't do anything to help you with this. Tu mamá y tu papá no pueden hacer nada por ayudarte con esto. It's not the same if they read the Bible to you as if you read the Bible yourself. No es lo mismo que ellos te lean la Biblia a ti a que tú mismo la leas. Pray for you. You have to do your own praying. No es lo mismo que ellos oren por ti. Tú tienes que orar por ti mismo. It's not the same if you, they bring you to church and they're standing there worshiping God and you're just standing there staring. No es lo mismo que ellos te traigan a la iglesia, se pongan a adorar a Dios y tú te quedes allí mirándolos. You are the only one. Tú eres el único que puedes controlar. How big your spirit comes. Qué tan grande sea tu espíritu. Now here's what we need to know. Ahora, is that lo que tenemos que saber. Why in the world does it matter? Adam, 
fuimos hechos para la gloria ¿por qué importa Dan si tenemos el espíritu fuerte? And assume that this bag is you. Suponga que esta bolsa es usted. And the water on the inside is the Holy Spirit. Y que el agua adentro es el Espíritu Santo. Why does it matter if your spirit is strong and full of the Holy Spirit? ¿Por qué importa si su espíritu está fuerte y lleno del Espíritu Santo? Because you're not going to live a, a, a an easy peachy nothing ever goes wrong life porque usted no va a vivir una vida suavecita linda donde nunca nada le va a pasar the fiery darts are going to come los dardos de fuego van a venir en contra suya they're going to come against your mind van a venir en contra de su mente the fiery darts are going to come los dardos de fuego van a venir they're going to come against your body van a venir en contra de su cuerpo point the sickness and disease will attack you y en algún día va a venir enfermedad y dolencia a atacarle en algún your momento emotions are going to be attacked. Sus emociones van a ser atacadas. The fiery darts will come. Los dardos de fuego sí van a and venir. And if you are not walking strong y si usted in no the camina power of the Holy Spirit, fuerte, you are helpless against those darts. En el poder del Espíritu Santo no puede defenderse en contra de esos dardos. You've got to be walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I've seen Apostle throw water on the floor, so I think I'm okay. Usted here, tiene right. que caminar en el poder del Espíritu right. y yo he visto Amen. al, al apóstol tirar agua aquí, Hallelujah. así que creo que vamos Now, bien. What? Okay. Adam. Adam. Come on over on this other side. Here. Ven por el otro lado, por favor, Adam. I'm going to teach you. Te voy a enseñar. What the Bible says. Lo que dice la Biblia about man acerca del hombre I just spoke to you yo les acabo de hablar and I told you y les dije okay hang on with the lights don't turn them off yet espérenme no me apague la luz todavía I told you that God was a spirit yo les dije ya que Dios es un espíritu but God is also pero Dios también glory es gloria we know Sabemos that he is not just full of glory he is glory que no solo está lleno de the gloria, glory of él God es gloria. is his presence la gloria de Dios es su the presencia. glory of God is his fullness la his completeness de in Dios us es su plenitud en nosotros. and when God breathed into Adam y cuando Dios sopló the en breath Adam, of life ese aliento de vida, not only did he put a spirit inside of Adam no solamente le puso un espíritu dentro he, de Adam, Adam sino dijo Adam that and turn agarra to face eso if you would. mira al pueblo por favor he put some of his glory él puso algo de su gloria inside of Adam dentro de Adán how do I know that's true hang on don't turn it off yet don't turn it off no keep those lights luz. up keep la the luz. lights up Mantengame then come on and help me please why do I know that ¿Por qué sé yo que eso es así? because the Bible tells us Porque nos dice la Biblia that he has crowned que nos ha, man que ha coronado with glory al hombre de gloria and honor y de honra. amen amen Come on, somebody. A ver, alguien. Responda. We are all crowned Estamos todos with honor coronados and glory. Todos con gloria y con honra. Now, do you remember that part of the story? ¿Se acuerda esa parte de la Everybody historia? Everybody remembers this. Remember se that acuerdan? part of the story esa parte de la in, historia? in Genesis, Genesis where Adam and Eve were naked and they didn't know it? Cuando Adán y Eva andaban desnudos pero that? no lo sabían, ¿se acuerdan? I mean, come on. ¿Se acuerdan? How can you be naked and not know it? Pero a ver, ¿cómo vamos a andar desnudos y no darnos cuenta Seriously? que andamos desnudos? en serio ¿cómo pasa eso? And so I thought about this so many times. y tantas veces yo he pensado en eso mismo y Dios me dio la revelación de la gloria que tenemos I por dentro empecé a darme cuenta de okay, algo now you can turn down the lights. ahora sí apágame la luz all right. turn them all down. apágamela toda turn them all bájamela down. toda toda down. más Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros When you look at him, cuando usted lo mira a él, what are you looking at? ¿Qué está viendo? Are you looking at the boy? ¿Usted está viendo al niño? Are you looking at the glory? ¿O está viendo la gloria? Good job. You see the reason. Mire la razón. That they could be naked and not know it. Que ellos podían andar desnudos y no sabían. Es que ambos estaban coronados. Adam, you didn't see his body. You saw the glory. Estaban coronados de gloria. Usted miraba a Adán, no veía su cuerpo, sino que veía la gloria. And what happened was as soon as Adam sinned. Pero tan pronto pecó Adán. 
For all have sinned Porque todos han pecado and fallen short y han sido destituidos of the glory de la gloria of God. de Dios. You can turn the lights back Ahora on. sí, ponemos la luz. Awesome. Qué tremendo Take trabajo hiciste. Gracias. Candy Toma dos caramelos y siéntate. Job. Buen trabajo. Did you like that? Did it make sense? I hope you decide to teach it to your kids in church or get your kids, your family around and let, watch it together and have a good discussion over it afterwards. You need to be talking about the things of God at home every single day. Now, if you're interested in getting the lesson, I have it linked below next to the words, let there be light. It's just one part of a four part lesson that explains how Satan was also a carrier of the light and how he lost his light also. It comes from the curriculum, God's Supernatural Kingdom, which I also have linked below. I also have a kid's book called The Spectacular Glory of God. It's a book just for kids. They can sit and read it for themselves. It's awesome. It's got a section of crafts in the back where they can actually build a tabernacle in the back with and, and, and the Holy of Holies and the high priest costume and all the rest. It's really, really awesome. It's called The Spectacular Glory of God and it is also linked below. You need to check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed this service. This is how you give kids the meat of God's word, the deep truths of his word that they are so hungry for. So now if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe box below. And don't forget, hit the notification bell too so you'll get a notification every time I upload another video. Until then, let the glory of God shine through you and teach your kids to do the same. God bless, and we'll see you next time.